Hello everybody, in this tutorial we are going to talk about converting the layout which we have previously designed into HTML and CSS. This is the tutorial which talks about designing the layout. You can follow it or you can just download the attachment. You have to be registered to Grok Network to be able to see the attachments. This is what we will end up with at the end of this tutorial this simple layout you know okay let's start this is the PSD the first step in converting the layout is to slice it so I'm gonna slice the layout these are the background layouts I'm gonna merge them so first thing I'm gonna select them all then I'll press ctrl E so now I have one layer that contains all of my background layers. Okay. I'm going to the select tool, style, fixed size. I'm going to select the width for 4 pixels. Okay, I can use 1 pixel width, but there is pattern here. Okay, so this pattern is uh, 4 pixels wide. So, so I just selected uh, 4 pixels width here. And the height, I'm going to put it. 600 pixels okay this is it control C control N okay I'm gonna paste it I'm gonna type control alt shift and then S in this way I can save a compressed picture you know it's only 300 bytes I'm gonna select G GPG Okay, it's about now one kilo. Save it. I'm gonna name it background. Okay, so now we have our background. Okay, now let's continue. The second thing I'm gonna slice is the logo. I'm going to that select tool. I put, I'll check auto select. Click on the my on my logo. This is my logo. Okay, this one here. Just I'm gonna move it upward. Okay, I'm gonna select them both and Control E, and I have one layer that contains them. I'm gonna to select tool, just select Control N, New, okay, and just paste it. But it contains a little bit of transparency. You know, you can check here. Before uh, before I merged them, I just okay. There was a little bit of opacity, and when I merged them, you know it's still there. So when I cut the logo and paste here, I have to remove the background, and when I save it, I can't save it JPG because it deletes the transparency. I have to save it .png. So, Control Shift Alt and S. I'll put PNG. Now it has a little bit of transparency. Save it. Um, logo. Okay. Okay. Now, second thing I'm gonna cut is these little social icons. I'm gonna select it. Okay, Control C, Control N, okay, paste it, and it has a little bit of transparency as you see here. So I will uncheck the background and I will save it as PNG. Okay, and I will do the same thing for these little icons also. And now I'm gonna cut this divider here, you can see it. Oops. The divider, it's two pixels width. So we just select it. First of all, I'm gonna see the layer that contains it. And then I'm gonna select it. Copy, new. Paste it, remove the background. Control, alt, 
Shift LS, Pan PNG, and I'm gonna name it Divider. Okay. Now this image that uh, presents the world, you know, it, it has a little bit of opacity. Okay, I'm gonna select it. Okay. Copy, new, paste it. Um, I'm gonna set the opacity for. Let me check. It's overlay here. If I uncheck the overlay, and I will reduce the opacity more. Okay. So it's about 25, something like that. Control Shift S. PNG. Save it. Um, world. Okay, let's continue now. Um, I'm gonna cut uh, the footer. Control C, Control N. Oops. I'm going to the background layer. Control C, Control N, and paste it. It doesn't contain uh, any transparency, so JPG, save it, footer. Okay, let's continue now. This little divider here. Oops, I have to go to the divider layer. Make sure that you have checked auto select. Okay, divider footer. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna copy it, control N, okay, and that's it. Divider footer. Okay. No. I will also cut the social icons. Social post, you know. Okay. This is it, control, control C, control N. PNG. Facebook 2. And also, the same technique that you used in this icon, you can use it for these icons and also these icons. Okay, now, as you see here, there is a little bit of gradient here. In this area so I'm gonna cut it also but there is a layer style and when you copy it you will have some problems you know so I use this technique I make new layer select them control E and now you will have no problems Okay, control C, control N. Paste it. PNG, okay. And I'm gonna name it. Okay, I'm gonna name it a little bit. I'll put uh, JPEG, you know. Okay, because it's a background. It doesn't contain transparency. And I'm gonna name it background dash sidebar and that's it guys you know just make sure that you cut also these icons here and here the same technique that we have used in these icons you know and that's it so now we will move to the HTML coding and this is what we will end up with these photos okay and that's it you can download you can
can download them just below the video and now let's move to the HTML coding okay now let's start our HTML coding I'm gonna use Dreamweaver as my code editor and you can use any code editor you like let's start I'm gonna create a new HTML file I'm gonna save it I'm gonna save it as index.htm and I'm gonna file new CSS and also I'm gonna save it as style.css okay now let's start I'll change the title to your website you can use any title you want and let's start coding but before we start coding I'm just gonna link uh, the style sheet to this file so attach style sheet browse okay this is it and okay now let's start I'm gonna start by writing uh, dev id container and and container I like to use this technique you can use any technique you like this container wraps all of the website items except the footer and you'll know why later okay and inside the container I will put dev id um, header and and header okay that's pretty cool now and let's continue and I also put dev id main okay and that's it and main okay and inside the main I put dev id sidebar I'll explain them no problem and and sidebar and I'll put dev class th this time because you, you can't use id more than one time in each page but class you can use it as much as you want and I'll explain all of these devs right just right now okay class uh, post Oops. okay and post and that's it and outside of the container I'm gonna I'm gonna put uh, dev id footer and footer okay now um, and that's it now the container is this area from here until here okay and the header is from the top which is inside the container until here this area and um, sidebar is the sidebar and also the post is one post that's it and you can put it as, ma as many times as you want for example if I want uh, three posts in each page or or just two posts you can make it no problem and then the footer which is here okay now let's start adding these items inside the div so okay inside the header I'm gonna I'm gonna put h1 tag and a with, with contain uh, which contain a link uh, your website name here name okay and I'm gonna replace replace it with a picture with this logo picture when I move to a CSS coding okay and I'm gonna put now um, an ordered list Oops. inside it I'm gonna use a uh, list a h okay I'm gonna link it nowhere right now and home and 
that's it just gonna copy it, this line paste it five times home forums blogs about us and contact us okay so this is the navigation bar but as you can see here the ho home is uh, there is a background underneath it so I'm um, uh, that means that this page that we are here is home so if I for example now in contact us page this must be transformed here into contact us and you know the width must be correct and how to make it it's real simple okay I'm just back now okay um, I'm gonna set an ID for the page that we are in now so ID um, for example you can name it anything active for example and that's it and in CSS we will style it no problem okay now let's move on and I'm now gonna write div ID uh, about us okay and about us And inside about us okay this is the about us area it contains uh, for example about us with h2 tag and this P paragraph okay so I'm gonna now put h2 tag and I'm gonna write about us and then P tag I'm gonna paste what's written there that's it and close the P tag so um, let's revise what we have done until now we put the logo the navigation bar and about us so I'm gonna now uh, put the divider and then the social icons let's start with the divider let's start with the divider um, div id divider mm, that's it and and div Oops. Oops. Okay. Now let's move on. I'm gonna put another div ID social. Okay, this is the ID and and social and the social ID contains first thing paragraph tag which is follow us oops and some image that contains links a curve link to nowhere until now and uh, image source will be um, this one okay and that's it I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna copy it Oops. and I'm gonna change the name Twitter um, RSS so that's it so now we have finished this area here now we will move to this area to the sidebar and then we will go to the posts and after that we will finish the footer and we will move to the CSS coding so let's continue now okay now inside the sidebar I'm gonna put uh, h3 tag which uh, says something like uh, let's check it hot topics and an ordered list contains list um, a sure, linking to nowhere and um, the topic name here okay Oops. just this mistake okay copy it in times
that's it and let's move to the post inside the post I'll put um, h2 tag by the way you can't put more than h1 tag in uh, the page that's better for search engine optimization values you know so I'm gonna put h2 tag and uh, hello world okay and inside it I'm gonna put a p tag with the uh, id meta okay and I'm gonna put it um, something like uh, author admin the date um, 30 2011 okay and I'm gonna put a link to the admin so a uh, linking to no no linking to nowhere and that's it so let's continue um, okay by the way meta is this area and I gave it an ID to be able to code it in CSS I'll be able to move it uh, and style it you know but I haven't changed uh, ID to class because I'm gonna use it more than one time in this page okay and I'm gonna put P class another one P class okay um, post paragraphs you know post paragraphs and okay paste and close it okay and I'm gonna put another P class P class uh, read more and I'm gonna put a link inside it read more okay and then I'm gonna put div class this time social post and it will contains these social co uh, these social icons okay and and social Social post, and inside this div, I'm gonna put um, some images. These images here, okay. So a link nowhere image source is Facebook two, okay. And that's it. Oops. Copy it, paste it, and Twitter too, and Google, I think. Oops. Um, Google tools. Okay. Now that's it for. Uh, the div main so we have a post and the sidebar and the social and the social icons um, about us and uh, the navigation bar and the title use image replacement to replace this title with an image you know this logo this logo here so now um, let's move to the footer and we will finish the HTML, HTML coding in the footer, I'm gonna. Okay, this is the footer. Let's check it. It contains links group here and another links group and something like designed by uh, Grok or anything, you know. So, uh, dev id links one and that's it. And dev and links one and div 
ID links to and mm, something like dev ID uh, designed okay and okay now let's code them inside links one I'm gonna say paragraph tag which contains links and an ordered list which contains the list items list a linking to nowhere and link one okay copy it six times three four five six and just I'm gonna edit the numbers okay and then I'm gonna move to the div designed which uh, I'm gonna put paragraph tag I'm gonna write inside it designed by uh, Grok Okay, and I'm gonna link grok a linking to www.grok.net and that's it okay and I'm just gonna copy this in order list and links and paste them that's it okay now let's move to the CSS coding okay so this is what our website looks like and let's style it I'm gonna write the CSS coding and, and these are the reset codes they are really important because each browser has his own values and when you write the reset codes, it uniforms the values, the beginning values to all of the browsers. So now your layout will be the same on all browsers nearly. Okay, now let's start. Um, I'm gonna write uh, the container. I'm gonna set the width and height. Width is 960 pixels and the height is uh, 900 pixels and I'm gonna remove this soon okay okay now I'm gonna write margin auto margin auto and this makes the container centered in the page okay and now I will show you how and also I'm gonna try text align oops text align center okay now uh, to ensure that your container is centered I'm gonna write something like background color something like any color and let's see it okay as you see here uh, the container is centered and you can know it from this uh, from this color okay let's remove the background and let's continue now remember remember that h1 tag here and we said that we are gonna use image replacement and now we all we, now we are gonna make it uh, header h1 I'm gonna say height um, 89 pixels with 232 pixels um, okay and you will ask me where did I get these values okay I got them from the image so I got them from the image I went to the image and uh, properties and these are its values okay and now to I, I want to place the image here okay so I'm gonna say something like background URL and select logo and I'm gonna write no repeat because I don't want it to be repeated and text indent 
minus pixels and this will hide the text and this is the technique that we use to do image replacement okay and also I want it to be, to be able and also I want to be able to click it so I'm going to write uh, display block and float left so it will float it to the very very left of this page no? now let's say something like header h1 a and before that I'm just gonna go to a and um, I went to Photoshop and I saw the color value of the hyperlinks and I'm gonna write them now color it's something like uh, 8bc6f0 that's it okay now let's continue I'm gonna set the height also like these values height and width and also display block block okay let's continue now so if I say something like live view I will be able to click it and this is our logo now let's continue I'm gonna code uh, the unordered list so which is the navigation bar header unordered list uh, I'm gonna float it to the left and I'm gonna say line height 49 pixels I measured the height of uh, this navigation bar and it was also 49 and so when you write uh, the line height it equals the height of the navigation bar uh, the, uh, the unordered list items will be centered perfectly okay and um, margin left something like 50 pixels uh, all of these values I got them from out of Photoshop. I measured them, so I can uh, width six hundred pixels. Okay, now let's continue. Header, number list, and list items. Um, I also I'm gonna float them to left. Float left and I'm gonna say something like margin left also um, like this okay and um okay margin bottom also margin bottom um, something like 50 pixels also okay let's see it pretty cool now why don't we set the background let's set it background body i'm going to the body element and maybe you'll ask me why you don't put the background in the container uh i i will put it to the body element because the container uh, has uh width like 960 pixels and it will not extend if the page extended so when i put it in the body uh when the page extends you will see that your background will also extend and we'll explain it so background URL um, set with repeat X okay and you will see that there is a white area here so I'm gonna say also in the white areas fill it with uh, this color FA 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 I got this color from uh, Adobe Photoshop. Um, sorry, not F F F F zero F zero F zero. Uh, I got this from Photoshop, and if you want to see the final result now, until now, that's it. Okay, and after that we will add the footer, and it will be awesome. 
Okay, now let's continue. Header. I know the last list, and I'm gonna talk now to the A elements. Um, text decoration. None. I want to remove the underline, and also color is um, E E E. Um, font size 15 pixels. Font weight. Font weight bold. Okay. So that's it. Now, when the mouse Oh, it comes over to this uh, link what will happen so I'm gonna write header and with list list a hover text decoration uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say and blind and um, color I want uh, I want it to be just like it was okay Let's see what will happen when the mouse comes over. There is an underline. Cool. Now, let's style. Uh, let's see what, what we have. We style the under list. Uh, oops, where is it? Okay, so now about us. About us. Uh, I want about us to be floated to the left and I will set the width and height uh, color and that's it not complete and that's it so float left uh, width 570 pixels height uh, 162 pixels uh, something like text align left I don't want it to be centered okay um, color uh, from Photoshop I got the color was GDD uh, line height something like 18 pixels font size maybe 14 pixels Let's see what will happen now. File, save all, refresh. Um, Okay, uh, I'm just gonna paste the name. Okay, I got the name from here. There was a capital letter, and let's save it. Refresh. Okay, that's it. Floated and has a color, uh, line height. Everything is fine. Let's continue. I want to write uh, the divider. So divider with two pixels the height I got it from the image height it was uh, 209 pixels okay uh, background URL divider uh, that's it yeah with no repeat Okay, uh, also float left, margin left 30 pixels, and margin top uh, minus 20 pixels. Let's see what happened now. Save all. Okay, this is our divider. Uh, if you are wondering about these values, uh, I got them from Adobe Photoshop and some of these values I got them from trial and error. 
I tried uh, many times until I reached uh, until I reached these values. So let's continue now. Social width is three hundred and thirty nine pixels. Height um, and it has background color. I'm sorry, background image, which is. Uh, the world picture no repeat oops no repeat and float, float right and also margin top margin top minus f uh, 47 pixels okay let's see them Okay, and I think that I forgot to write the active codes, uh, the background, this one. So, uh, active and uh, background. I got this color from Arab Photoshop B1D9F6. Um, height. was uh, 40 pixels padding is 0 from the top and bottom and 10 pixels right and left and also border radius radius um, 0 pixels 0 0 0 8 pixels and 8 pixels also let's see code will curve the corners that's it now let's continue okay now let's continue uh, we will style the social P this world this world here okay social P uh, padding top 70 pixels color DDD font size 24 pixels and margin bottom something like 10 pixels and these values I got them from trying for example font size it's 24 pixels I got it from Photoshop margin bottom from Photoshop and uh, from trial and error you know so let's continue now uh, let's style something like uh, this image here social image Uh, margin 0 from the top and bottom and 10 pixels right and left okay okay now let's continue uh, main this area okay um, I'm gonna say minimum height is 562 pixels I got uh, I got it uh, from out of Photoshop but if you ask me why I say minimum height because I want this area to be able to, to extend you know so if uh, I wrote uh, for example three posts four posts everything will be fine okay with another pixels background uh, let's see Uh, background sidebar right okay so I added the uh, but here repeat why repeat why so let's see so I added this image here and now I'm gonna add this color so let's see the color okay F A F A F A and this is a problem okay 
Okay, that's it. And I'm going to the header and I'm gonna set mar padding. Okay, because as you see here, this area is over the header. So, header. Padding bottom 320 pixels and let's see what happens now okay awesome now let's continue uh, sidebar I'm gonna flood it to the right Um, width is 178 pixels. Uh, border radius, border radius is 0, 10 pixels, 10 pixels, and 0. Okay. And now sidebar H3, which says hot topics. Margin top is 30 pixels. So I want to move it a little bit from the top. And margin bottom, um, 5 pixels. Let's see. Okay, that's it. So margin top, 30 pixels and margin bottom 5 pixels let's continue mm. sidebar an ordered list and list items um, text align left I don't, I don't, I don't want to be centered uh, background uh, color I got it from out of Photoshop E5 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 oops E not D E5 E5 uh, margin bottom is 5 pixels and width 175 pixels um, let's see what happens now 5 civil And I want these uh, corners to be rounded, so let's add uh, border radius 0, 6 pixels, 6 pixels, and 0. Now let's see. Okay, now let's continue. Um, sidebar, another list, uh, a tags. Um, let's check it. Okay, color. I want it to be zero zero zero. Uh, margin left. Um. 3 pixels now you will see what happens you know it was something like that and now that's it okay cool um grab this one add it here and hover so mm, maybe something like color as 333 three, three. And that's cool now. Okay, now let's see what has left to us. Um, post. By the way, I'm gonna duplicate the post. So I want in each page, I wanna have two posts. That's it. Okay. Uh, let's see what happens now. I have another post. Let's continue. Um, 
dot post dot because it's a class not an ID um, I'm gonna set the width uh, 690 pixels and now save it and let's see what happens now you see that uh, there is a text that floated to the other area but now when, when I set when I set the width see what happens okay now let's continue um, that's it for the post now post h2 the title of the post uh, flo I want to float it to the left and margin uh, 10 pixels from the top 30 pixels from the right 10 pixels at the bottom and 20 pixels on the left okay that's it um, maybe something like font size I wanna make it bigger 24 pixels and um, color 353535 I got it from Auto Photoshop okay now uh, let's move on uh, meta which says something like uh, written by admin uh, on which date and something like that text line left okay hmm um, something like margin top 15 pixels float left okay um font weight font weight bold and final thing is um Kala. also three five three five three five okay let's see it that's it now let's move on post paragraph uh, clear left and I had some issues and the clear left uh, saved it because I floated uh, these items before it so I have to say clear left and see before clear left what happens you know uh, something like floated so I have to, I had to say clear left to fix it and um, text line oops text line a uh, left also and margin zero zero five pixels ten pixels twenty five pixels and like I am from out of Photoshop okay um, let's continue now read more uh, I'm gonna float it to the left okay um, margin 7 pixels 0, 0 and 25 pixels okay that's better now uh, I'm gonna set background color for uh, and also I got it from my first show B1D9F6 okay um, padding to extend the background a little bit 0 top and down and um, 10 pixels right and left that's it uh, border radius border radius Mm, six pixels everything everywhere let's see it okay cool now um, that's it maybe I'm gonna set border border one pixel solid um, 888 see that little tiny border it's good and uh, it makes better shapes okay uh, now let's change the color 
so read more a color is one 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 and bold font weight is bold now let's see what happens until now okay that's better now um now let's move to the social post dot social post uh, float right of course and margin right okay before margin right let's see what happens okay and uh, now let's set the margin right margin right Three pixels. Now let's check it again. You see, there is a little bit of uh, space here, and that's a little bit of uh, space here, and that's better. Now, um, the social post image margin zero, top and bottom, five pixels right and left and it will make space between these uh, icons okay now uh, there is a final thing in this area here is the div there is a divider here you know this is the divider so let's make it now uh, divider post let's check if the name was correct No, it's not correct. Okay, and so let's add it. Um, div class. Uh, I I named it uh, div post, and let's add it also here. And let's style it. Mm, div post height Oops. is one pixel. Uh, width is 500 pixels background is uh, 999 I got it from out of photoshop text the line center and margin top is 50 pixels margin left is 85 pixels now let's see Yeah, that's it. Now let's move on. This is the divider. Okay, um, let's move on. Okay. Now let's style the footer. Uh, footer height is ninety one pixel. Uh, background. It will be oops, background. It will be mm, this is it with beat X. Okay. Uh, margin top something like twenty pixels. Add down. Let's see what happened. That's it. No, there's a little bit of problem. Footer, where is it? Where is my footer? Okay. Uh, let's close this one, and that's it.
and also I forgot to close it here let's save and see okay that's it yeah you know it's extended along the page now let's style these items inside it links one uh, I'm gonna float it to the left and set the width as something like 220 pixels okay now links one another list margin top is minus 5 pixels let's see what happened okay so this is links one let's continue now um, also at padding 0, 20 pixels uh, 0 and 30 pixels okay let's continue now um, links 1p margin left minus 140 pixels color is EEE -E -E and font weight is bold okay okay now designed P uh, color is EEE -E from Photoshop and also font weight bold padding is 30 pixels 180 0 0 ok let's see what happened uh, save all ok I think that I forgot to code the list items ok let's code them links 1 Unordered list, list item. Um, I'm gonna float it to the left. Now see what happens. Okay. Um, padding is 0, 20 pixels, 0, 30 pixels. And that's it. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna delete this link here okay I just had to uh, remove the padding from here and put it here in the list items and that what happens now let's continue um, links to float it to right um, width is 110 pixels margin right is 60 pixels margin top is minus 52 pixels ok links to links to another list margin tab is minus 5 pixels margin right is minus 50 pixels these values I got them by trial and error I tried a lot of times until I got these values you know uh, every time file save check that's it okay now let's continue moving uh, margin right minus 5 pixels 50 pixels and that's it here links to another list list items I'm gonna float it to the left and also padding is 0 0 0 50 pixels uh, 
Um, final thing is links to P Procraft. I'm gonna sit. Links to P. I'm gonna set the color and uh, whatever to the paragraph and links. So, um, color is E E E and font weight is bold, bold. And let's see it. I'm gonna change the width to 150, 150 pixels and also here padding left 50 pixels okay let's see what happens that's it and i'm gonna write something like margin right um 40 pixels save all let's check okay that's it so we made this layout here but as you can see here, main, this area here, is not centered correctly. So I'm going back to the code, uh, main, yeah, and I'm gonna write margin, oh no, file, save all, let's see, yeah, that's it. So if you have any questions, you can ask me. Uh, the original post is underneath the YouTube video. Uh, you can download the uh, uh, you can download the PSD, the work files, uh, reset codes, or whatever. And thank you.